Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Anthazar, but y'all can just call me Anthe. <laughs> I'm getting sushi, so that's my birthday. <laughs> what do you think you're gonna do with the virus? <laughs> what are you gonna wipe it to death? A 5.7 magnitude earthquake. <laughs> Something very special happens in nine days. Do you know what it is? I am not talking about what happens in eight days, which is the anniversary of my birth. No, the day after that is far more important. Animal Crossing comes out. <laughs> the hype around a game is far more superior than the anniversary of my birth. <laughs> <laughs> the hype for this game is real. No, I am not obsessed. I have no idea what you're talking about. No, I do not own a bunch of Animal Crossing Amiibo cards. I don't know what you're looking at right now, but no. Mm -mm. And I certainly didn't just buy a children's activity book for all of the stickers. I, I No, I didn't do that. I swear. <laughs> to say that I am obsessed with Animal Crossing would be an understatement. In preparation for that momentous day, I'm going to try to get my crap together and get a lot of work done. This video will go up on the Friday that Animal Crossing comes out. And we shall see in the next few days if I get any work done. Ideally, I would like to be ready for Monday's video. I'm ready for, well, I'm not ready for Friday's video, but I just filmed Friday's video <laughs> and it was a lot of fun <laughs> and painful, but I need to prepare a video for Monday and I need to also vlog every day. I'm going to vlog every day for the next nine days and see how much work I can do. Wouldn't it be grand if I could edit numerous amounts of chapters of the Marked Heroes and write, edit, and proofread numerous amounts of chapters for the Harry Potter fanfiction so I could be prepared for Camp NaNoWriMo because you know the day this game drops is the day that I hibernate. It'll just be a constant conflict because I will put the work first, but Animal Crossing will constantly be calling me in the back of my mind. Let me tell you, I have been waiting for this game since the launch of the Nintendo Switch. So today is Wednesday, it is 2 p.m. I have to run some errands because I gotta go get prescriptions for everybody <laughs> so we can keep our brains and working Ulta because we need that. <laughs> But then I need to finish the fanfiction for tomorrow. I need to edit more, maybe write more. I don't know. Whatever we can get done, we got to get done. And then I have to edit Friday's video. So baby steps, Anthony. We got a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it because people probably want to celebrate my birthday. I guess we'll do that. But, you know, Animal Crossing. <laughs> Animal Crossing. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go uh, run some errands. So, yeah, this virus thing that it can't pronounce. Yeah. I guess people think that toilet paper and water is going to cure them of the virus. I didn't get footage of the water aisle, but the footage you're seeing of the toilet paper aisle <laughs> mirrored the water aisle. The middle hallway, the middle pathway is filled with new toilet paper coming in. And I'm like, I just want one, first of all. <laughs> Second of all, what do you think you're gonna do with the virus? <laughs> what are you gonna wipe it to death? Oh my word. But yeah, went grocery shopping, got my prescription, and then gonna go home 
and put all the groceries away and maybe not die and actually have a brain to do other things. Hmm. Hmm. We shall see. We shall see. <laughs>
It happened at 7.09 in the morning. I was asleep, and then all of a sudden, my bed is rocking and shaking, and it's violently shaking. <clears throat> Zelda gets up and is barking. Luna is alert, and it's just, mm, and I'm like, okay, it's okay, it's okay, <laughs> it's okay. And it's like, it's a rocky road, people. <laughs> Don't get sick, but like, hello. And so it's legitimately, woo, it was violent shaking. In 2011, when an earthquake hit Virginia, I was in New Jersey and I felt it. And it was like rolling earth. It felt like the sea, like being on a boat. And I just remember I was on my bed at the time, you know, on my computer. And it's just like, it was just this slow movement. And you're like, what is that? What is that? But yeah, no, this was a violent alarm clock wake up. <laughs> just like, get out of bed. And then the fun begins because I finally get control of the girls. They're both in my arms. And my first thought is there's going to be aftershocks. That's the only thing I knew. It's just aftershocks. And I'm like hunkering down in my bed. And then I'm getting calls from people, you know, get out of the house. Okay, so getting out of the house is a bit of an ordeal. I got to leash up the girls and harness them. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And then, then I have to be. <laughs> it was just chaos this morning. And then it's just like, they're still shaking. And I'm like, okay, okay. There's better. No, hopefully there's not another one. <laughs> I'm like, search. I'm like, where's my keys? You know, it's just like, I'm really not prepared for an earthquake. From 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., Luna was trembling in my arms for two hours. I felt so bad. But I end up, you know, sitting out in our front driveway for a few minutes and get to connect from a distance with our neighbors. And our landlord comes and checks our, uh, you know, plumbing, gas, all of that good stuff. And yeah, for being so close to the center of the earthquake, we had no damage. We had a couple of things fall over. Some things on my shelf fall over, a couple of books, you know. So really, nothing fell over for us. We had a neighbor who, you know, their water line broke underneath their basement, but ours didn't. So, and then downtown Salt Lake City has had some damage apparently. I'm constantly feeling as if the earth is moving. And I don't think that's me shaking, but it could be. And then aftershocks. So apparently there were 59 aftershocks by 1.20 p.m. Three of those were above the level four. It's, it's been an event. It's been an event. I got no writing done today. <laughs> Although I joked with my friends, I was like, well, now it's time to throw an earthquake at my characters in some story. <laughs> just here you go. If they live through an, an earthquake, let's just torture our characters in a new fascinating way. Some of the problem was there, this rumor went around Utah really quickly that they're like, Get ready, a 9.0 is going to hit us next. And I'm like, that's catastrophic. That's going to kill people. <laughs> that's going to be death. That's going to be violent and destruction. And I did not sign up for this. <laughs> but uh, apparently our fault line in Utah is too small for a magnitude that size. So... Yay, small blessings. But for some reason, some stupid rumor went around Utah and it was on the news. They're like, chill, people. We can't, it's not possible. Shut your faces, boys and girls. It's... <laughs> yeah, that was one worry. I was kind of relaxing and then I got the message from someone and I was like, are you freaking kidding me?
Are you freaking kidding me? Do not need that kind of information. I'd rather just die. <laughs> Don't tell me the end of the day. 2020. How about 2020? <laughs> oh my word. Oh my word. This vlog has not turned out in the way that I wanted it to. But you know what? That's life. There's nothing I can do about it. But you know, hey, we're still here. <laughs> yeah, if you will have known... There was an earthquake yesterday, 5.7. I was really close to the epicenter. It was pretty, pretty jarring. <laughs> I can definitely say that I am shook. A lot of my worries is just, I know they're saying that there's only a 5% chance that this was a foreshock to a much larger um, earthquake. I've been hit before with the fat with the low percentages so I'm a little bit on edge still mainly because I've got two little puppers that are small and I don't want anything to happen to them so I'm kind of on edge if something big happens which it's probably not <laughs> but if something big happens I want to hold on to them and make sure that they don't get lost or run away. Uh, you know, if some, if there is enough damage to the house, which there probably won't be. But still, this is on my brain. I really don't care about, I really don't care so much for myself as I do for my little puppers. <laughs> so yeah, that's probably the thing that's making me the most nervous. I wanted to take a shower yesterday, but it was just way too... There was constant aftershocks, so I was just way too on edge. And I couldn't bear to be away from them. I had them leashed most of the day yesterday because, you know, if something happens, you gotta go get up, go get them, bring them with you. So, yeah. Finally got a shower today and, it, and there was a tremor while I was in the shower. I was like, I am so done. So done. It was just a small tremor, but still, it was just like, Earth, calm down. Calm down. Please. We're begging you. I'm going to edit Friday's video. We'll see if I'll add any more film to it at the last minute, but yeah, I'm kind of going to just end it. Get it over with. You got to see some hilarious stuff. I don't know. I don't know, I got some writing done this week. I'm just not prepared for the next bits and I'm just a little too intense and a knot in my stomach. <laughs> Happy birthday, Anthony! <laughs> I'm getting sushi, so that's my birthday. <laughs>
I, I don't want to stop. Thank you so much for watching and being along this longer vlog of many days. <laughs> If you are into Animal Crossing and are planning on playing it in the next few days, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to have some more Animal Crossing buddies. And also, let me know if how are you doing with the social distancing and all of that jazz. Hope all is well. Until next time. Bye. Stay safe. <laughs>